Well, if you don't already have an Amazon Prime membership, the new series Harlem is all the reason you need. Take a look. Girl, I'll get you a fat job, money. Ooh, I would not work. Well, you don't work now, so that tracks. <laughs> Speaking of, what happened with the Sheraton interview? Oh, girl, no, yeah, I couldn't. I'm not really about that hotel now, single life. Feel more I'm last stop than come back, you okay, feel me? Okay, but it paid money, which you will need if you want to move out and get your own place someday. Girl, you would be lonely without me here. We cannot get enough of Angie and the star who makes that character shine brighter than we can ever imagine is here with us this morning. Please welcome the super talented actress, fashion icon, as you can see, an international household name, <laughs> Ms. Joniqua Shonda! Hey. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. I, like, <laughs> let me just tell you, I was telling you earlier in the break, I love this show. Angie, Camille, Ty, Quinn, they don't know this, but they are officially my besties, for Mine the record. Too. <laughs> well, you can say that because they're really your, your, your bestie. But explain what makes this friendship so special that we want to inf infiltrate the whole situation. Yes, uh, what I love the most is about these French friends in particular is that these women are allowed to be flawed. We're allowed to see women who are, who might have it all together in their careers, but are desperately clinging to their um, to their sanity, be it romantically or financially even. And it's such a beautiful way that Tracy Oliver has found these four women, how she's made them like complete each other and then also magnify the worst aspects and also the best aspects of each other as well. All right, career-wise, you and Angie are completely different. Her career isn't going quite the way she wants it to go. Yours, let me say is it's going well. <laughs> better than well. And I described Angie as Fifty Shades of Cray to everyone earlier. I, like, oh, I was wow. like, she is, she is, but uh, like in, uh, in the best way possible. She is Absolutely. all kinds of crazy. You find like whatever I level of crazy it. you are, you, you find your level of crazy in Angie, but in mm -hmm. the most loving way. So how would you describe her? Angie is no hope bars. Mm -hmm. She does not settle for anything. What I love most about Angie is that she knows she is deserving of the world in spite of her financial circumstances. And that's what I had to learn from her because my career wasn't, well, I mean, this show made it, mm -hmm. <laughs> made it that. But before it wasn't, and so much of my value was connected to what I'm doing. That's the thing in LA, we ask you, how are you? But it's really what project you're working on. Right. And Angie would never, never allow anyone to determine her self-worth, regardless of if she's, if she's employed or sleeping on her friend's couch or not. She's the Beyonce of her group, regardless. Exactly. And the series is filmed all around Harlem, uh, all around yes. the place, but Harlem is definitely the backdrop. You're from New York originally. You grew up in Virginia. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you're not in any of those places right now. You're at a mansion right now. With one of yes. your with one of your castmates working on something super special. Yes, I am currently in the midst of shooting my first music video right now as we speak. Um, Megan Good is directing it, and she sent over her DV, DP because we are all busy right now. She's doing a full day of press for Harlem, so she sent over her DP, and he's cur currently filming me right now oh. and waving at What's me. What's his name? Um, his name is Roan, and the name of the song is something about you. So it'll be out next year with this video with hopefully beautiful footage from this moment. All right, so you know what I'm thinking? For next season of Harlem, maybe we can have something about you as one of the songs that plays on there, because it has a really good soundtrack that the show does. That's exactly what I would love. I am pitching this song specifically to Amazon, Tracy Oliver, hey, let me, <laughs> let us get a song on. I think that would be a beautiful collaboration. All right, so I know you love karaoke. Right? I do. You love YouTube karaoke. karaoke in the house karaoke at other people's houses or at a bar. I will karaoke it up. Okay, As aside, <laughs> aside from your own song, what, what are your favorite songs to karaoke it up to? Oh, I've got go-tos. I do Beyonce one plus one mm -hmm. because in my head, I sound like Beyonce when I sing it. <laughs> Um, but that's in my head. Um, and then I got to take a classic natural woman, Aretha Franklin. I love big voices. I love soul music. Yes. Oh, we love you so, <laughs> so much. We just, you are, you. you guys, like this show, like, you know how some, someone gives you an, an, a present you didn't even know you needed, like a surprise? 
It's like one mm -hmm. of those things you're like, oh my gosh. And then all the amazing women that I don't want to say anyone's names, but some of the iconic actresses that show up on this show. And then to have you mm -hmm. guys there, like working with them, it's nothing short of incredible. You are incredible. I cannot wait to see this video. Mm -hmm. Let us know when you're in Thank New York you. again. Everyone, please I, let us know. I'll find you. Harlem, everyone, is now <laughs> streaming on Prime Video. Please check it out. You're not going to regret it. You're going to love everything about it. We love you. Thank you. We love you. Wish you Thanks all the best. Me. See you soon. Mwah.